guys, so I am back. Andy is back and Valeria is back and we're all here to bring you another edition of our Cat Ladies collab. This is number three. Our very first collab was our top 10 favorite skincare products. Our second collab was the Alima Pure on different skin types video. Um, the Alima Pure Foundation, and then today's video, we've each created a blue eyeshadow look. Um, I think we ended up with pretty similar looks across the three of us, but the blues are a little bit different. Um, we've all used different brands and products. I don't think either one of them used and um, the Aether Beauty palettes as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, we all created a blue eyeshadow look. So Valeria and I had actually done blue eyeshadow looks um, within the last couple of months. I wore one in a PR video I did a couple of months ago. She did one or she had one on in a video. I can't remember if it was a what's in what's on her face video or if it was another video, she just, she wore a blue eyeshadow look. And then we decided to go to Andy to see if she'd like to create a blue eyeshadow look. And then we could create the two eyeshadow looks that we did and then it would be a Cat Ladies collab. So that's what we did. Valeria and I recreated our blue eyeshadow looks and Andy has created a brand new one. So all three of us have got a blue eyeshadow look. Was that way too much explanation for that? I think it might've been. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's what's going on today. Um, I am showing you just my eyes. Um, I did have my base on and then I did my eyeshadow and then I did my other makeup off camera, but I did explain to you at the end what all of that is. So if you wanted to wait until the end to see what's all in my face or look down below because the descriptions hide nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really love the way that this turned out the second time around. My skin is actually looking not cute um, and somehow my, my makeup still looks pretty good on top of my not cute skin. So I am actually wearing the Alima Pure Foundation and the concealer um, underneath all of this. So if you want to see, if you still haven't watched that video, I'll go ahead and link the last Kate, Cat Ladies collab we did, as well as the one before that. I'll link all of our Cat Ladies collabs. So if you haven't watched the other two, you can go back and watch them. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna blab too much because I don't want to make this a super long video and I will have sped up some parts of my blending just so you don't have to sit there and watch 20 minutes of blending because that's about how long it took. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in how I got this look, keep watching and if you want to go see more blue eyeshadow looks, definitely go check out Valeria and Andy and see their take on blue eyeshadow. So hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the demo. So I have my base on and my brows on. That's all that I've done. Um, I've got my foundation, my concealer, and brows. So this look is going to consist of all three of the Aether Beauty palettes. Um, and then that's all that I'm showing you is just the eyes. I'll tell you sort of what I'm gonna do with the rest of my face once I've done, or like at the end of this video. So you saw my intro. Now we're going to be doing the eye look and I'm gonna start with some eye primer. I'm just using the Ilia, the Ilia eye primer. I did put some concealer down, powder concealer on my eyes before um, I came in here, but I'm just gonna do a little eye primer anyway, just to help it stick. Because there is one shadow that is um, like a metallic and it needs something to sort of stick to. So we're first gonna start with the Summer Solstice Palette and I'm gonna be using the two warm shades, the two matte warm shades in my crease. So Balance is the darker one and then Soul is the lighter one. So I'm gonna start with balance just to sort of like um, start off my crease. So I want to start off light and then I want to work my way. Um, like I want to start with light work. I don't want it, not like colored light, but um, like a light hand. So I'm using the um, Seamless Sheer Blend from MOTD for this. So I'm just starting in the crease, just sort of like blending um, very lightly. Thanks for my hat. It's a pretty cool hat. And I do want to do on my eye a little, little, because I do want there to be just like a tiny bit of color.
Okay, now that we have that sort of started, I'm going to take the build and blend and go into the lighter shade and then sort of like really. Do no way. Do not. Sort of like build this up. And um, this one's a little bit warmer than that other shade. So it's gonna warm it up as well. They're too big. Too big, so too small. So I'm sort of like defining the crease more with this and then bringing this one more on the lid than the other one because this one will be sort of like a base for the blue shadow. Don't put that in there. So I'm just blending this until it looks the way that I want it to, which I don't really know what that looks like until I like get into these looks and I like start to do them. It's just when I feel like, oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, we're there, we're almost there. We're almost there. I think we're pretty close. It's just like a nice warm blended crease and lid. And then do I have, do I have a clean blending brush? Just sort of like blend out the edges a little bit. Okay. So then we're gonna go in with the Crystal Grid palette, the blue one. And we're gonna take that shade Sapphire, which is the metallic blue one. So I'm just gonna take that with my finger because these middle ones, which are the metallics, um, I think on every palette function the best or like apply the best with a finger. I've tried it with a brush. It sort of just depends on the shade. So I'm just going to press this on. I'll zoom in a little bit for this part and for the uh, the next part. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my like blending brush just to make sure that all the edges blend in really well. I feel like the lid on this one is not quite as intense as the other one. Try to rectify that. It's always ho so hard to get two eyes to match exactly how I want them to. It's probably close enough. Okay, so then. So that's it for that palette. That's just that blue shade. And then I'm gonna go back into the Summer Solstice palette with the same two colors, and we're gonna do the under eye. So I'm gonna take the lighter one first and then do that all around, and then just do the darker one in the corners. So I'm gonna take this like pencil brush. And then I'm gonna take um, a, a different smudge brush and I'm gonna use Balance, um, mostly in the outer. Just to sort of, just define the outside a little bit. Not a ton, I don't want a lot. So the next is liner, and I used the Antonym liner in steel, so it's their like sort of blue, blue gray one. It worked really well with this. So I'm just gonna go in the waterline and the tight line with that. So 
So you can see, it just defines it, but it's not super harsh. Trying to do eyeliner with one hand is like basically impossible. <laughs> okay, so then this is where, where we're gonna take the Rose Quartz palette. And I'm just gonna take like a little definer brush. And then we're gonna go in with shade Stardust, which is, it's like white. White shimmery shade, and then just go in um, on the inner corners with that. So mascara, and when I do like looks like these um, that you know aren't just like sort of a normal, or not even like a normal, like a like a neutral eye, I tend to go a bit more bold and voluminous with the lashes. So I tend to go for the Fit Glow because it gives me the most volume. I have bought a couple of volumizing mascaras recently to sort of like compare this against. So that's upcoming. It's so much harder to do eye makeup on camera than it is to do it. Uh, you know, like in my bathroom or like at my makeshift vanity or whatever. So there's that, so I'm gonna finish my face and then come back and chat for a second. Okay, so to finish off, I used my favorite Well People Bio Base Baked Bronzer. I love this, I'm using it like all the time. It's so easy to use, it, you can't, you don't really go overboard with it. It looks really like natural and not too red, not too orange. And then I also used my Modern Minerals blush in Bloom. This is the one I created with Modern Minerals. I love it so much. It's just, it's almost like a little bit of like a highlighting blush because it's got like the very faint, like it doesn't have glitter or anything in it, but it's got like a sheen. So it gives like a nice, almost like a highlighty effect. So that's that. And then I finished off with my old, my standby um, Fit Glow Beauty uh, lip serum in Beach Glow. It's like pretty much what I use. 90% of the time I put anything on my lips these days. Hopefully Oliver wasn't too distracting. He sort of occupied himself elsewhere at the moment, so he's not in here. Right now I can hear him. He's out there like playing his drums, so um, hopefully he wasn't too distracting. Sometimes I can occupy him for a little while while I do this, um, but it's getting a lot harder. He wants to be near me like all the time, but he's he also wants to make like noise all the time, so it's like it's getting a lot harder for me to film videos, which is why I've been so, one of the reasons why I've been so inconsistent. I do want to still like sit down and like chat about my thoughts and feelings and things about, you know, videos and YouTube and blogging and stuff like that. But I also wanted to mention quickly, this just came in the mail. This is the new Skylar um, Scent Club perfume. Um, I love this one. This is probably my second favorite scent after the very first one, which I can't remember what it was called now. Blossom maybe. I don't remember. The very first one was my favorite. It was like pear, yuzu, and something else, which I also can't remember. I also really like salt air. That was another one of my favorites. That's probably top three, but I love this one. This one's Wanderlust. It's woody, dry, and smoky, and it's got scent notes of papyrus, um, Virginia cedar, and violet leaves. Oh, it smells so good. This is gonna be like perfect for fall. I really love this. So if you're into like woodsy scents, I mean, it doesn't smell like you're walking in a forest, but it kind of has that like feeling because um, it's also got like the violet leaves. Um, there's also heliochrysum in here, or orris root, and vetiver. So there's some other scents in here that sort of like, you know, layer it, but it's, it is it's very nice. I really like this one. This one is like perfect for a fall, I think, where the very first one, which I can't remember the name of, was like very perfect for spring, which when it launched. So far, Skylar has done a really good job of curating these scents, and I've really pretty much loved like every single one. There's like one I could have done without, the Golden Glow. That one was nice, but it's not usually like what I like, but this one is, I love this one. So if you're into dry, smoky, woody scents, might wanna give it a try. Can't beat it for $18 when you join the scent club, so. That's everything that I've got for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Please go check out Andy and Valeria's take on blue eyeshadow. We sort of, I think we all sort of created somewhat similar looks, but we all use different products and different brands. So there's a lot of um, brand range across all three of our channels, even though 
our, our looks might have come out slightly similar. I think the blue is different on all three of ours, but um, this was fun to do. I really liked recreating this blue look that I sort of like pulled out of my butt that one day when I put it on. And um, I've been wanting to do it again since, and I've loved that we we all sort of got together and um, did this, the three of us. So definitely go check out their channels if you're interested in seeing more blue looks. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next one.